In the beginning, it starts with the intro section. It goes like this. I'll give you a preview. It goes like this. Okay, so let's learn it, okay? So the right hand is basically a motive times two times and then the left hand comes in, okay? The right hand starts first, it goes like D, E, F sharp, A, and then D, E, C sharp, D, and then B, C sharp, D, A, B, C sharp, D, E, like that. So the 16 notes here, these 16 notes is played twice in this introduction, okay? So it's 32 notes, but it's actually just repeating those 16 notes for a second time. So one more time for the 16 notes, it goes D, E, F sharp, A, D, E, C sharp, D, B, C sharp, D, A, B, C sharp, D, E, and then it repeats itself for the second time. D, E, F sharp, A, D, E, C sharp, D, B, C sharp, D, A, B, C sharp, D, E, like that. Okay, so that's the right hand. So the left hand, the chord's pretty easy, it's just, well, at the start it doesn't have any left hand, but and then the left hand comes in with the G major chord, which is G, B, D. Then it goes to B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. Then it goes back to G major, which is G, B, D. Okay, so there's only three chords for intro. Okay, so with those three chords in mind, G major, B minor, and back to G major, let's put the two hands together, it goes like this for the intro. So the right hand starts off first with the da -da 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 and B and G major together. And then when it restarts, the D and B minor together. B and G major together. Like that. Okay, so it's pretty much Celtic playing industry. The chords come in at the like same parts of the motive, except for the start. It just starts with the right hand. Okay, so one more time for this intro. This is the intro. Just go one more time like this. Together. 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 Okay, so that's the intro. Okay. Now, after the intro, it goes into this very important part because this part actually repeats itself uh, more than one time in the song, okay? So, this is the uh, verse, okay, this is the verse motive. It goes like this, the incomparable goes like this. I'll give you a preview, it goes like this. one more time but anyway so this is the verse okay so you couldn't see some of the chords here but don't worry I'll show you in a high octave afterwards okay so it goes like this okay it's the right hand this is a really important this verse because since it repeats it again afterwards you have to know exactly what to do and then also later on in the song it also repeats the first half of it again so you need to remember the chords okay anyway so the right hand the first part it goes like this F sharp A and F sharp a, like that. Okay, so that's the first part. Pretty easy, okay? So I pretty much count to four beats for every bar so you get the rhythm of it. So it's one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, etc. Okay, but for the start, these uh, two uh, bars actually in the original, it actually like rests. It gives a pause because it's like a more dramatic kind of like phrase. But anyway, I'll tell you what to do once I teach you the chords as well. So uh, the chords for this first part is um, these four chords corresponding to the four notes of the right hand. It goes B minor, B, D, F sharp. And then we have B, suspension second, which is B, C sharp, F sharp. And then the third and fourth chord is just repeating the first and the second chord. So B minor again and B suspension second. Okay, so with those four chords in mind, B minor, B sus two, B minor, B sus two. Let's put the two hands together. So it's really easy because the right hand has four notes, the left hand has four chords. So it's just one note per chord. Okay, so it's together, 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 and then together, together like that. And that's it for the first part. Okay, but for this very first part, it actually like does a massive pause. It's like. Ta -ta -ta. 
like da, da, but later on when it repeats again uh, this whole verse it doesn't have this massive pause because like it's just a compositional technique and performance technique to give it more kind of like a um, dramatic kind of like feel okay but anyway so that's the first part of the verse okay and then uh, the second part of the verse right hand goes like this it goes G D up to G high D and then F sharp and then D and then E and then D E like that okay one more time for the second part it goes G D G F sharp D E D E like that okay so that's that the left hand okay there are let me see okay so these are the following five chords okay so the five chords here for the second part uh okay it's e suspension four which is e a b second chord is also e suspension four again and then third chord is e major which is e g sharp b and then here we have two fast passing chords is e suspension four then back to e major like that okay so one more time for the five chords it's pretty easy it's just actually two chords played in this particular order so e sus four e sus four again and then e major and then fast e sus four e major like that okay well, with those five chords in mind let's put the two hands together it goes like this okay so i'll play an octave lower so you can't really see the chords but i'll tell you exactly when to press it but i already showed you the chords anyway so it goes like this g and e sus four together d and e sus four together and then e and e major together and then d and e sus four together and then e and e major together like that okay so one more time for the second part so it goes like this together so remember to count uh, so it's like this one two three four one two three four like that so you can see the last two chords is actually like in one um, beat per like chord which is like faster okay so that's the second part and then the third part is really easy what you need to do is uh, just D and E suspension, suspension 4 together, so it's like together, 4 counts, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then E and E major together for 4 counts as well, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. Okay, one more time for this third part, this third part is E sus 4 and E major and a D and E together for 4 counts each, okay, so it's like a one whole bar, together, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that, okay, so that's the Oh, uh, let me see. That's the third part. My bad. So that's the third part. Okay. So after doing this third part, remember these three parts actually, because later on in the song it actually does these three parts in one like section. Okay. But this is actually not the full part of the verse. It pretty much does like half of the verse later on. But it's all right. So that's the third part of the verse. Moving on to the fourth part of the verse. It goes like this. Fourth and final part of the verse actually it goes like this. Let me see. Okay. Um, goes A, F sharp, and then here is really interesting. We on the right hand it goes E major chord, which is E, G sharp, and B for a total of uh, second time, and then third time, fourth time, fifth time, sixth time. So six times at the final part. Okay, but the counting is like this. Okay, so A is to the two beats, one, two, and then F sharp, two, and then E major for two beats. E major again for two beats, and then E major for one beat each time. One, two, three, four, like that. Okay, the left hand chords for this fourth and last part of the verse, it goes like this. The chords are B minor 7, B, D, F sharp, A, and then G major 7, which is G, B, D, F sharp, and then A major, which is A, C sharp, E, and then A major again. Okay, so those are the four chords for this fourth and last part of the verse. Okay, so B minor seven, G major seven, A major, and A major. With those four chords in mind, let's put the two hands together for this uh, last part of the verse. It goes like this: A and B minor seven together, F sharp and G major seven together, and then the E major chord and A major chord together. One, two, three, four, and then A major and the third E major chord together. Together, two, three, four, like that. One more time, so it goes like this: it goes together, 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 two, three, four, one, 
two, three, four, like that. And that's it for the verse. Okay, so after you do the verse for one time, uh, what I said before, you repeat the verse for the second time. So it's actually verse again. So it's verse times two is in total for the start. So we just go back or you just do it. So it just goes together. Two, three, four. That's it for the verse second time. So at the start, we just did the verse for two times. That's what it's supposed to be in the song as well. So after verse times two, it goes on to the next section. Okay.